Would you like to try the coffee known as the Grand Cru Elixir of the Emerald Isle? Would you like to try the new coffee special? It combines the ingredients of toasted hazelnut and ripe berries. Sure. <sighs> we all know personalization matters. Whether it's personal tastes in music, the kinds of restaurant foods or ambience we enjoy, or app experiences catered to our specific needs. And this applies to how you should think about incorporating AI experiences in your apps too. For example, did you know that both versions of the lines that Ryan the Barista used were generated via AI prompting? Which version did you prefer? And if you were offering a feature like an AI chatbot in your app or other AI features, how could you go about automatically personalizing the best one for each of your users? Well, that's where Firebase Remote Config and Firebase GenKit come into play. Firebase GenKit is an AI orchestration framework that helps you configure AI prompts, models, and tools for your app. It's really great at helping you develop, test, and iterate on AI feature development in your apps. Firebase Remote Config lets you remotely configure parameter values for your users depending on conditions like which platform they're using, what language they speak, and more advanced analytics-based user segments. But this is all on the client side. That is, the value that your client apps get are based on configurations you've set up on the remote config servers. With the recently announced remote config server-side support, you can now configure remote config parameters based on your own custom signals and change values dynamically from your own server application. Now, this enables many different use cases, but one that is really important is that you can remotely configure AI experiences with Firebase Remote Config and Firebase GenKit together. So what exactly does this make possible for you now if you're building AI features in your app? Well, for starters, you can create personalized AI agents for your users by selecting or parameterizing inputs to prompts to your models, test out new models as they are released, or select models you want to use based on which give better responses to your users or best fit specific use cases. Or thinking about budgets for a moment, maybe you want to switch or distribute between which models you're using for your AI features to reduce your bills and do a 50-50 or adaptive split based on usage and costs that you're incurring. These are things that using a remote config server side with GenKit can make a lot easier for you as you develop your AI features. Let's take a look at our AI Travel Planner app to see how we can use Remote Config and GenKit together to make even more AI magic happen. Now, in its current iteration, our app allows users to specify a few parameters and keywords for a trip that they'd like to take. And our GenKit-powered AI features magically generate a perfect itinerary for them. But what if I could make this experience even more magical? Instead of forcing my users to go through so many extra steps to tell me what kind of trip they'd like to take and what their budget is and what kind of dietary or activity preferences they have for their travels and so many other kinds of criteria, what if I could use the information I know about them to parameterize my prompts automatically? This creates an automatic, highly personalized and delightful travel itinerary without needing to bother my users for every little detail. Remote config server-side along with GenKit or any other AI orchestration frameworks makes this possible. Check out the documentation linked below to get started with server-side remote config and Firebase GenKit. But taking a step back for a second, generative AI development is still really new for app developers, and it might be new to you too. That's why I highly recommend using feature flagging with remote config, or better yet, remote config rollouts to roll out roll back, and monitor the performance of your AI features. But despite our best efforts gradually rolling out and testing new features, app crashes can still happen. But that's why we're also using AI assistance in Crashlytics to help you quickly identify and fix any crashes so you can make sure your users have a reliable experience in your app. That's right. We've recently added a new experimental feature in Crashlytics that uses the power of Gemini in conjunction with your app's code to identify the root causes for crashes and even suggest fixes that you can apply 
to get things back in working order. Let's take a look at how it works. So I've recently released an Android app and I'm currently looking at all the crashes it's collected since its launch. Yikes, this one doesn't look great and it's impacting a lot of my users. Let me see how Crashlytics AI assistants can help me resolve this quickly so that my users get back to having a smooth experience. I'm going to start by generating a basic insight. This won't use my app's code, just the data already available in Crashlytics. It's good, but missing some context that I think would be helpful. By clicking this new button below, I now have the option to add some of my app's code and other info that I think would help Gemini provide something more actionable. I'll paste in the recommended file and see what happens. Great. Here I can see that Gemini is being much more prescriptive and even suggesting what could be the root cause of this crash based on the code I inserted. This feature is available now as an experiment in the Crashlytics console and coming soon to the next Android Studio preview release. With code context, we're hopeful that Gemini can be your always present partner to help you troubleshoot and fix issues in your app. Of course, that doesn't mean you shouldn't also rely on your teammates to get you out of a jam when you need to. Yes! Today, we showed you how you can create magical, personalized AI experiences in your apps with Firebase Remote Config and GenKit, and how you can use AI to fix crashes even faster than you could before with Firebase Crashlytics. Give Crashlytics AI assistance a try from one of the crash detail pages of your Android or iOS project with Flutter support coming soon. And take a look at server-side remote config, feature rollouts, and Firebase GenKit by taking a look at the docs linked in the description. Tune into more Firebase Demo Day videos to check out more cool things you can build with Firebase. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.